Christy Code Red, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer. And why am I smiling already? Because I'm actually excited about this subject. Because in today's video, we're going to talk about food pushers and the worst thing you could ever say to a food pusher. Now, even if you don't know what a food pusher is, you probably have someone like that in your life. Now, a food pusher is someone who tries to get you to eat or uh, drink or, or eat crap when you're living a healthy lifestyle and actually managing your eating. When a food pusher tries to get you to eat something, most people give the worst response that you can give to a food pu pusher, which is, I can't eat that. When you tell someone you can't eat something, most people are going to react in one of two ways. One, they'll think that you're being down on yourself or depriving yourself. And they'll try to convince you that, yes, you can eat that. Or two, they'll use your I can't statement to start an argument why you can and why you should eat that one thing you say you can't eat. So instead of saying, I can't eat that, the response you always want to give to a food pusher is, no thanks, I don't want that. And here is why you want to say that. When you say, I don't want that to someone, they are so much less likely to argue because what can, what can they actually say to that? Think about it. What, what are they going to say? You're telling them that you don't want it. Sort of like, I mean, you could, I guess they could hold you down and stuff it down your throat. Uh, but what can they really do? Seriously. But when you say, I can't eat that, food pushers will argue because I can't sounds weak and victim-y. I don't want that. On the other hand, it sounds powerful and certain. Food pushers in general aren't going to listen to weak and victim-y, but they will listen to powerful and certain. So tell them emphatically that you don't want that. End of discussion. Now, if you're listening to me right now and you're thinking, but Christy, I usually do want to eat that. Saying I don't feels like I'm lying. I mean, I totally get that. But here's the thing. Saying I can't eat that is the actual lie, really. Because yes, you can eat that. You can go and stuff your face with freaking cow manure for all I care. Well, when you don't eat something, what you're actually doing is choosing to not eat it. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody forcing you to eat or not eat anything. There's no can't in this whole equation. Either, either way, you are making a choice. Bottom line. Now, I get that part of you probably really does want the food, but guess what? There's a part of you who doesn't, really. It's the part of you that wants to get and keep this weight off. It's the part of you who wants to sit in an airplane seat without your hips digging into the armrests and be happy about how you look and sit on the floor with your grandkids and have more options when you close shop. When you answer, no thanks, I don't want that, you're not lying. You're allowing the part of you that truly doesn't want that type of food to step in and answer. You see what I'm saying? What you put in your mouth or don't put in your mouth is you making a decision. So decide to tell the food pushers to, to tell the food pushers, no, you know what? That's okay. I don't want that. And never again tell anyone or even yourself, I can't have that. All right. To learn how to lose weight and keep it off without shakes, pills, diet foods, or exercise, come join us in the Code Red Network. You can create your free account at coderedlifestyle.com forward slash APP. So go check that out. All right. And I'll see you in the next video.